Hi, my name is Suki Davies and I'm currently a senior at Baxter Academy. I spent my junior year during Flex Friday working with another student in Moxley in the darkroom, um, which is great that Baxter has access to a darkroom since a lot of other high schools don't have that opportunity. Um, our project was called Wax Paper Negatives. This style was started in the 1850s in France by a man named Gustave Le Gray. So we spent our time during the year learning about the process and perfecting our negatives and prints. So there's several different steps to achieve these negatives, um, which kind of made it a lengthy process, but still really interesting. And it's to wax the paper, iodize, sensitize, shoot, and then develop. So when we wax the paper, this prepares the paper for the upcoming steps of the process. It involves immersing the paper in melted beeswax, then using an iron to remove excess. The next two steps are to prepare the paper to be exposed to the sun. These are called iodizing and sensitizing. With iodizing, you're able to have all the lights on. Um, you don't have to like do this in the dark. However, with sensitizing, we do have to turn all the lights off and use red light instead. So after these two steps, we're actually able to finally shoot. So we ended up taking a lot of pictures of our Aphrodite statue. We also had some flowers and fruit that we would take photos of, and it's probably the most like artistic part of the process. Um, so after shooting, we have to develop where you're able to see the photo um, develop on the negative, which is really fun and interesting to watch. It can take a couple hours though. So if you see our Aphrodite, you'll see that this is a really good negative because it has really good dark contrast. It has easy to see details and the parts that are dark are really dense, which makes it a good candidate for printing. But before we can print, we must fix the negative, which just means we make sure this negative will stay on the paper by immersing it in a couple different chemical baths. Salt printing is the process that we use to print the paper. Um, which we're able to do after fixing it. So it involves salting the paper, exposing it to UV light. So we either used a sun or we had this tanning lamp and then fixing the print. For the next slide, you can see that this negative was accidentally double exposed, but it's still a good candidate for printing again as there was good contrast and easy to see details. Some important processes to keep in mind for the darkroom are keeping contamination to a low and making sure the right lights are on for whatever step you're doing. Um, contamination was really important for us. We always wore gloves. We had a whole different process to do and clean all the dishes um, just because any bit of contamination can really affect the end result. The last thing for me to mention is that my overall experience doing this project was amazing. I came in with absolutely no experience. I had like never done photography, um, but I knew that I liked chemistry and I learned so much during the months that I was working in the darkroom. I would recommend a darkroom project for anyone who's interested in photography, chemistry, or just like a general interest. Um, having access to this project really stood out to me during my time in high school, and I'm super thankful for teachers like Moxie who are willing to guide us through them. Thank you.